Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Rejection doesn't feel good, does it? Ladies, you know what? I, I got I to gotta bring this up because, you know, as you know, I talk to plenty of young ladies, older ladies, too, about, uh, you know, well, you, on my men's side, I call it man gets woman, and on this side, I call woman attracts men. And you know what? Men, we're actually used to rejection. We're used to it. We expect it. We develop, most men develop a thick skin, though there are... Uh, a growing amount of men who are having issues behind rejection. Okay, let me um, give you let me give you an uh, empathic feeling on this. Let me give you some empathy on this. I want you to sit back and think about this. When y'all have been rejected, how does it feel? I'm serious. How does it feel? How does it feel when you you know you got a crush on some guy or something like that? You fix up. You fix your hair. You know, get that nice makeup on. You might wear those pump Jimsons, even though you might be awkward walking in high heels. Get that little shorter than average dress. And you go around that man and he don't pay attention to you. And that's the best scenario. He don't pay attention to you. Some some situations a woman might get both. Hey, you want to go out or something like that? And the dude's like, no. And I've actually seen situations where some men, they've tore into some women. Talked about their weight, their looks and everything. And, I, you, you know, it don't feel good, does it, ladies? Most women have been rejected at least one good time by some guy that she wanted. Most women. And most women. Now, I know y'all don't talk about it the same as we do. And I know it can be terrible. Some women, you know, you get that group of other women, y'all sit around and talk, and then try to find something wrong with the man. Well, he was crazy anyway. He didn't love his mother and all of, all of that. Bottom line, though, it don't feel good, does it, ladies? Think about it. I want y'all to think about it. It don't feel good, does it? You know? That's how men feel. Now, multiply that one time you got rejected or two or three times and multiply it. And uh, take, it to another, take it to another level. Multiply it by 100. Okay, that's how we feel, right? That's how we feel. So, you know... And I want y'all to think about it for this reason. If it don't feel good for y'all, it's real worse for us. That's why you have some men out here going crazy. Seriously. That's why you got some men shooting up shit. Seriously. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. So it's, it's worse for men. Now, what this got to do with y'all, this ain't, let me be abundantly clear. I ain't saying don't reject a man. But think about how you reject the man. Because that's the, that's the important thing. That's the important thing. I've talked about this before, but you know what? I was talking about uh, re avoid rejecting men for superficial reasons. But the reality is you still want to find some, you want to run into some men that, you know, they don't click with you or they come at you a little too hard. Sometimes it's all in how you do it. And it's actually a game um, I learned from some women, some women, hey, some women, very attractive women. And, you know, they get some guys coming for them and they'll find a way to reject them in such a way. The guy don't feel bad, you know? Now, even though I generally promote trying to be as honest as possible, sometimes, yeah, depending on the situation, it might have to be a white lie. It might have to be a white lie. Like, say you don't really have a mate or anything like that, but you tell the guys, you know, sorry, you know? Now, some you might not have to do that all the time because some guys you can just say, well, you know what, I'm sorry, I'm not really interested. Okay, some guys want to deal with it, but then you get some other guys a little bit more aggressive and stuff, and then you might have to be like, well, you know what? I got a man. He wouldn't feel good about it, you know? Uh, something like that. Or if a guy, and that's that's a terrible situation, but then if, um, you know, if a guy coming too hard, and like I said, you got to do what you got to do. Indeed, you might have to curse him out. Okay, if he coming at you disrespectful and stuff. But then you get some guys, they very respectful. They very respectful. Um, you can just pretty much tell them, but then it's how you tell them. See, one of the problems is not so much a woman rejecting a guy, because, you know, 
you know, like I said, men, psh, we, we're used to it in a way. It's how you do it. It's how you do it. You don't have to be mean to that guy. As long as he's respectful, you can be respectful. You could privately say, well, no, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. All right. If he's respectful, he's going to respect that. You know, but don't feel the need to, unfortunately, you get some women, they feel like, well, yeah, I'm going to tear into him. Or oh, he a nice guy. Or who he think he is trying to talk to me. Ladies, that's the worst thing you can do. At least let him give him some dignity or something like that. Seriously, because it comes back to bounce back on you. That's what I see. I see a lot of women, especially on uh, these YouTube streets, they complain about men going in on them. But it all stems from that, ladies. It's a reaction to it. You be hard pressed in, in years of doing like talking to different men and different men specifically about relationships. I've yet to have somebody just on just some pure hate without some, um, without some reason. It usually come down to it. Oh, and let me say something because, you know, sometimes if a guy's showing some meanness or something, they'll say, well, who hurt you? Or you got a problem with their mom. They'll say, well, you got a problem with your mom. Okay. Are you going to do anything to heal that if you're going to ask that question? He might have. What are you going to do? Seriously. And this, this is something something to really think about. You know, what if some woman did hurt him, cheat on him, uh, rejected him harshly? Now what? Seriously. Now what? Now, I'm, you ain't much you could probably do about it. You don't want to deal with the guy anyway, but you could at least, like I say, you can at least be nice because you don't know. And sometimes even a nice rejection can actually be healing because some guys reject. Hey, I've seen even some rough guys. They, if you are nice about it, just say, well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. You know, maybe you can have a nice day or something. A lot of guys will deal with it. A lot of guys will deal with it because they're so used to women being mean. Now, I'm serious, though. It's all in how you do it. You know, you could just tell. I mean, you could say, well, I mean, seriously, just a simple, I'm not interested, that goes a long way. Or just be kind. Or even if they compliment you or something, you could be like, like this one woman who, well, she actually has some fame. She said, you know, if a guy compliment her and, you know, she'd be like compliment him back. And if you try to take it further, say, mm, sorry, I'm unavailable. And the guy, she he got rejected, but, you know, it wasn't done in a mean way. And it's something to really consider, lady, seriously. Because, you know, like I said, you know how it feels for you. So multiply that by 100, how it feels for a man. Because despite, you know, being generally logical and rational, our emotions are deep. That's why when men fall in love, they fall in love deep. And when we develop those feelings, they are deep. So I want y'all to really think about that, all right? And like I said, it ain't saying don't, you know, just accept every man that comes your way. I'm saying if you reject him, you got to do it in such a way that it you don't have to hurt him, especially if he didn't do anything to hurt you. Because him approaching you to begin with suggests he finds you attractive. That's actually complimenting you, all right? So, ladies, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.